Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to plan for the third week of November which is from Monday the 15th all the way to Sunday I believe it's the 21st. I already have here my hourly layout set up. I use some washi tape. I sometimes like to color the pages to give it a better a better look and those of you who are familiar with the Erin Condred uh, hourly layout know that usually in here uh, the day starts at 6 a.m. so I had to white out uh, those hours because my day does not start at 6 a.m. it starts actually earlier I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning so uh 5 a.m i get up as i said and as soon as i get up i i get ready get dressed of course and then i uh, go out for a walk with my mom so we're gonna put here 5 a.m get up and go walking we usually walk for about uh, a little over an hour so just to be sure I'm gonna put here uh, that we're back well actually it's more than an hour oh my gosh seven come back at seven I don't know if you can no, I can't see it let me let me delete that and I try to make it um, very neat but you know you make mistakes and it does not look pretty anyway uh, so 5 a.m. I get up and I'm gonna put here at 7 a.m. usually we finish at that around that time so 7 a.m. I when I come back I I like to drink water so we're gonna put drink water for 7 a.m. and this week it's going to be a little bit different usually I start checking company emails uh, my boyfriend and I, we run a trucking company, but tomorrow it's Monday and I have to take my boyfriend to the airport. So at 7.30, I'm going to start getting ready. As soon as I'm going to get ready. Because I don't want to put... Uh, one of the things I don't like about the about my hourly layout is that uh, the boxes are... Are kind of small and and I like to write a lot a lot so let's see in here I have my my list and usually I like to kind of like have a draft before I put it on my planner because I sometimes I have to change my schedule for whatever reason and I don't want it to look messy so I put it here in this whatever in this notebook and once I know this is this is exactly what I'll be doing for that day. Then I'll put it on my planner. I know it's more work, but for me, it makes my planner look more beautiful and not messy. I don't like it if it's messy, and I also want to be able to to read what I have uh, written there. So, seven thirty, get ready. So I I eight a.m. I'm gonna wake up my boyfriend. So I'm just gonna put here. So wake up. His name is Ahmed, so I'm just gonna put wake up Ahmed. And then we have to I have to go to the bank. So at 9 a.m. We're gonna go to the bank. And hopefully uh, we'll be at the airport before eleven. His flight is at twelve, but we also have to go to the title company to pick up so i'm gonna put here 9 30 a.m pick up earnest money we were going to buy a house but uh we had a problem with the with the seller and he decided not to sell the property so we're gonna go pick up our earnest money so 9 30 a.m pick up earnest money
So by 10 a.m., we should be at the airport, hopefully. Uh, if there's a lot of traffic, well, I hope not, but we'll see what happens tomorrow, 10 a.m. at airport. And I'm just going to go drop him off because I have stuff to do. I'm not going to wait for him to to actually get in the plane. That will be just a waste of time. So I'll just say goodbye to him at 10. And at 11, my mom and I, we're going to go check uh, these new apartments that we want to... Maybe we maybe we move next year, but we just want to like go and see if we're going to like it or not. So at 11 a.m., we're gonna just gonna put here uh look looking looking for apartments and if you see i misspelled something please excuse me i'm not a good speller sometimes i forget how to spell things um let's see and then after I'm probably going to be looking at apartments for about an hour, depending on traffic and how far it's from the airport. So after we look at the apartments and get the information from the landlord, whatever, we're going to go to Sam's. So I'll say about 12, we're going to be going to Sam's. We have to buy water. I don't know what else. I have to check what else my mom and I, we need. And then... And then we should be back at home at, mm, I want to say 1, 1 p.m. Hopefully early, but I don't know. Maybe not because Sam's is very crowded. If you go uh, here where we live, uh, if you go after 11, Sam's is very crowded and probably be there for a while. But it's pretty close to where we live, so we'll see. Um, so at 11, when I come back, I have to check our company emails. So I'm just going to put check emails. We get a lot of emails and I have to make sure uh, if there's anything that uh, that it needs our attention. Uh, and then probably check emails. It will take me about 30 minutes. Why? Because we get a lot of emails from brokers and people who wants to sell something to us. It's just It just happens when you have a company and they're just sending you a lot of emails. Um... So after that, I have to work on my eBay listing. So I'm just going to put here eBay listings. I have a small eBay store and there's some stuff that I need to put up for sale. I've been procrastinating, honestly, but I need to put this, this stuff for sale because I want to make money. I don't want it to just forget about it and not do it. And... I believe I'm going to take my time because I have a, a lot. I also have to renew some of the listings because I, I notice it's not getting uh, a lot of traffic. So I'll probably just go renew it, change the title, change the pictures, you know, do whatever it takes to sell the... It's mostly clothing, but, uh, you know, do whatever it takes to sell it. Um, so I'll probably be doing that until 3. Yeah, it's going to take me a lot, but... I'll, I'll, but I wanna I wanna finish it. Mm, so I'm gonna be doing that until three. Till three. Three p.m. and at three p.m. Uh, I'll do the laundry and have a lot of laundry. So probably taking like two or three hours. So do the laundry. Um. Probably we eat, probably I'll have lunch, uh, eat something with my mom at, what did I put here on my draft? Let me see. Mm. Well, actually, three, see, I made another mistake. It's okay. I'll just use my whiteout. Three, we eat. And then after we eat, we do the laundry and take our time. So, oops, it's messy, but whatever. And <laughs> it's my first planning video. That's why it's messy. So, 3 a 3 p.m. Not a.m. So, eating time. Just put eating. Eating time. And then, 3.30 laundry. 3.30 p.m. We do the laundry. And... 
and like i said it's probably gonna take me uh i'm gonna say like three hours because i have a lot so i'm just gonna put i'll be finished at six i know it's a lot it's a long time but believe me i have a lot so 6 p.m i'll i'll come back to my apartment and i have to study so just put study because uh, i'm going to school full time also so just put study study time until 8 and at 8 i i get ready to go to bed because i once again i wake up very early so 8 p.m just put bed bedtime start getting ready for bedtime so on tuesday it's gonna be different because i don't have to take anyone to the airport so on tuesday what do i put on my draft so again i get up at 5 a.m get up and walk or walking i don't know i like get up and walk so get up and probably be back at seven or the latest uh, 6 45 but i just put at seven it's better sometimes i go walking and and i get distracted and i see the beautiful houses or whatever so seven i like it to put seven that's the time i should be back so seven again i drink water every day before i eat anything And this one at 7.20, I'm going to check my uh, check the company emails earlier. So I'm going to put check emails. And from 8, from 8 a.m. to 8.30, um, uh, maybe... I'm not sure, but I like to put a schedule this hour to go to the post office and drop drop off my packages. Uh, sometimes I do have um, I do have sales, and I don't. Sometimes I sell something every day. Sometimes it gets slow, and then sometimes picks up again. So I just leave that space just in case I sell something. If I don't sell something, I'll just keep working on. I mean, I'll keep checking my emails, but we'll see so for now I'll just put post office and then 8:45 to 9 a.m. is when I have breakfast so just put breakfast and and this time at nine on Tuesday, I will be doing uh, IFTA reports. So I just put IFTA reports. My agent wants our mileage, so I have to print those out. Make sure we didn't forget to upload any of the receipts. We do not use a fuel car right now because it's uh, I don't know. I guess for my boyfriend it's kind of expensive and he doesn't really like it. He's old fashioned, so I have to upload the receipts into uh, uh, keep tracking. Um, and I just put whatever the the gallons uh, he bought, just put them in there. And then once I have those ready, I print those out and put it on the Excel spreadsheet with all the total miles. But I'm not gonna get into. A lot of details because uh, it will be just a very long video if I do and I want to save that information for another video this is just for planning um, so I'll be doing that until 1 I really want to finish because doing this part is not my favorite especially when you have a lot of receipts to check so so 1 p.m. yeah Okay, so after I check, I mean after I do my, after I do those data reports, I want to check if my, uh, what do I put here, let me see. Okay, 
So after I do that, I want to check. I bought. Uh, let me show you what I bought. I bought these blades. I also have a sticker shop, and I use the cameo for. And I bought these blades from Amazon, like very cheap, like three blades. It's like a bundle. And I want to check if they're gonna work because I read the reviews and a lot of people were complaining that only one blade was good and the other ones were bad, not working. So I'll probably ship that at this hour. So 1 p.m. Check how to check those blades. Check them all. Got some stickers and see if it's gonna do a good job. If not, then I'll return them. Okay, and then hmm, probably just continue doing um, cutting the after I check the blades if they work nice. Uh, and then let's see. So uh, check the blades and then cut cut kits. Some I have to cut some stickers. So. I'll do that, so I'll just put cut kits. I'll do that until three. Do until three. Until three p.m. and I'll three I'll eat with my mom. So and then after I eat at four I have other receipts that I have to organize. Because my boyfriend, he's not going to do it. I have to do it. So. Uh, 4 p.m. I'm going to. I'm going to put all the receipts together. For. for um, we had some expenses for the truck. But also when my boyfriend is away. Working. Driving the truck. He goes by. He goes to the grocery store. So I want to account for those receipts. So I'm just gonna put here open bag. I have a big bag. If I have time, I'll show you guys. I'll shoot a video, and you see we have a lot of receipts. Open bag of receipts. And again, if I spell something wrong, ignore it. I I'm not a good speller. So put open back and organize. I'm running out of space. This is why I don't like using the hourly layout. I like it. I'll I'll probably change it uh, next year, but I bought it. I bought this planner, it's very expensive and I don't wanna not use it. So um and then at five just to do some organization for the receipts for like one hour. And then at five, five PM I'll I'll have to study, so just put study until 8, which is the time I go to bed. For Wednesday, again, I get up the same hour, I'll just fast forward this part. Okay, so we here. Um, I'm gonna check the emails at 7, 10 a.m. Uh, hopefully, I can get everything done on Tuesday. So on Wednesday at 7:30 a.m., I would really want to send the IFTA reports to the agent. So just put IFTA agent, and then again, if there's um. Uh, a cell here hopefully there will, there will be one we assign this hour for the post office and then breakfast breakfast at 9 
some at 9 a.m. breakfast and then we're gonna probably after breakfast I just put 9 9 20 20 minutes to eat break, breakfast I'll put I have to uh, November if the report I have to generate another if the report and then probably it's gonna take about an hour because <clears throat> is the for the month of November uh, my boyfriend only ran for I believe it's a week probably less than a week so I don't have a lot of miles to report uh, and not a lot of fuel receipts that I need to upload so let's see and then after I do the probably 10 20 10 20 a.m I'll pause I do I'll relax a bit and go to Instagram and upload post I mean post keep saying upload uh, post a picture of my stickers or something I want to share with my followers And then at 11, I want to do uh, an application for Capital One. We want a new credit card. Again, I'm hating this layout. Look how it runs out of space. If anyone out there is looking, is, is looking for a new planner, do not use the hourly layout if you have a busy life like me because you don't have enough space to write down everything. And then, and then at 12 I want to do, I want to design some stickers. Until Launch time. This is like until three. Eating time. And then after I eat, I I need to start doing some more bookkeeping for the company. So just put trucking bookkeeping. There's some expenses we had. We also have to pay um, parking for the truck. We have to rent out a place to park the truck because where we live, we cannot park the semi truck. And if you do it, you get a ticket, and it's a big, big problem. So I have to put those two in there for the record. Um, I'll probably do this, no studying on this day. So I'll probably do this until I go to bed. Because we do have a lot of transactions going on. Okay. So, I'm almost finished. I hope I'm not worrying you guys. Um, so, for Thursday. Let's see. Thursday and Friday. Thursday, same. I'll just go do this 5 a.m. Get up. It's 5 a.m. Yes, I get up at 5 in the morning, even on Saturdays. I like getting up early. Gets me, um, it gets me, it makes me feel more active if I get up at 5. If I get up later than that, I don't want to do anything. I guess I'm, I'm a morning person. And it's nice starting the day early and going up for walks. So get up and walk. I'll just. So on Thursday at 7, after I drink my water, then I go walking with my mom. I want to check if there's anything pending so I can do it next week. And what I mean by checking is that I. I have like I mentioned in here before I have to do a lot of bookkeeping for the company and I want to check so I don't miss anything so hopefully I'll finish it but I always like to double check so I'll just put here 
Mm. Bending, check bending. I know what it means, but I have to put it very, I have to write it almost like in, I have to write almost like a key because the space is very, again, I keep complaining, I know, but anyway. Uh, and then, again, at 8 in the morning, from 8 a.m. to 8.30, this is time to go to the post office. We don't always go. Sometimes we go every day. Sometimes we go once a week. I don't know, but I usually, even if I don't go, I write it down here. Breakfast. Then this is when I relax and you find me on Instagram. I like to share my new stickers. I like to share my my bullet journal. I also use a bullet journal. I like to take pictures of my planner. Um, what else? And probably today I'll just go crazy all day for this day on Thursday. I meant Thursday, not today. And just design. Until lunch time which is at three for me eating time and then uh, <clears throat> excuse me and I'll probably after I eat I'll probably do eBay listings I don't think I'm gonna finish it on I put it? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna finish it on Monday because I do have a lot of listings. So no, I'll work on eating. I know I'm not gonna finish, so I'll just put even. Uh, I mean eating, and then after I eat, I'll do a four. I'll do eBay and no study for this day. I'll put I. Well, actually, yeah, I do have to study because finals are coming. And I also, I don't, I take my classes online, so that's why you don't see me here planning planning and writing, going to, going to school because I don't, I do it online. So, even in study, do even until 5, and then 5. 5 30 take a 30 minute break and study until 8 until I go to bed it's starting to look messy but anyways just as long as I have it in writing I'm happy because if I don't have it in writing I don't I don't do it I'll, I'll forward it here I'll fast forward the video here again because it's it's a lot of a uh, repetition and then once the video is finished I'll explain what's different because I, it will be if I keep talking it will be a 45 minute video and it will be boring so I'll just fa fast forward here Okay, so at 11, 
I'll probably on Friday I wanna test a uh, sticker paper. I purchased new sticker paper, and I have to um have to check how my machines are going to react to the sticker paper because if it's too thick, I have to change the the settings for the blade on the Cricut and the Cameo Four. I if I didn't mention it before, I have two cutting machines. I have a Cricut and a Cameo, the Cameo 4. And then at 12, probably do some, have some videos that I have to edit. Just videos about uh, me and my boyfriend running the company. So I just put edit YouTube video. And I'll probably be doing that until 3 because it's long videos. And at 3, I eat again, eating time. And at 4, this is when I'm gonna post the videos if they're ready. I'll post them, hopefully. Upload video. And I five. I like to have also TikTok videos. So I'll probably be on TikTok. And then. I'll be doing that until 8 p.m. and go to bed. So finally, when we get to Saturday and Sunday, things are less, less, um, less hectic. I don't have a lot um, planned. Um, so on Saturday, I still get up early. Because that's, that's a habit I want to keep doing until until I die, honestly. I like it a lot, getting up early. So, um, probably check the files after I drink the water. So, I put, uh, after I drink my water at 7.20, I'll put, uh, check files. And what I mean is, I'll have to check and see if everything is in organized how I wanted it to be. If not, then I have to find the time to do it next week. And I also, this is when I do my planning for next week. Probably at 8. 8 a.m. And then, no post office on Saturdays. I don't go to the post office on Saturdays. And then, have 9 a.m. breakfast. And in here, for the rest of the day, I do I do whatever I feel like it. I don't follow a rigid schedule because I'll, it will just drive me crazy. As you can see, I had a lot to do this day. So on this day, I don't want to follow a plan. I just do whatever I feel like it until 3. <laughs> I'm not going to spend the day watching TV, but probably like... Uh, design stickers, uh, shoot videos, go out. I don't know, but I don't like to include that. So, it's 3 p.m. eat time. So how about we put here free time or social media? And then. I still like to go to bed early. Let's put here bed time. And then on Sunday, probably at 8 a.m., from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., it will be breakfast. And then after like 9 20 a.m., uh, me and my mom, we go together, go grocery shopping 
I cannot spell groceries. That's embarrassing, but it's true. So let's go put go shopping. <laughs> Hi, yeah, it looks bad. Whatever. Go shopping. And then probably we'll be back at before twelve. And then after twelve PM it's just, you know, family time. And go to bed early and be ready for next week. So that's it for this week. I I hope you enjoy my video and I know for sure it's a long video and probably it's boring but that's that's pretty much for this week that's what I'll be doing it's it will be it doesn't look like it, it looks like it's a lot but I do more than this it's usually more more slow for me because my boyfriend's not gonna be here for this week he's he has to go visit his family so it's gonna be more slow for me because I don't have to book loads for him. I don't have to process invoices. So let's see what happens next week. Until then, thank you for watching.